Okay, so last card was they came to steal, kill, and destroy, I believe. But it's gonna happen to them because you get what you give. It's karma. Next card is Jupiter. That is Sagittarius ruling planet. Right? Yeah, I believe so. Um Yeah. Sagittarius. Yeah. Sagittarius ruling planet. Um, the breakdown of how it works and what's going on because of that and how it affects Sagittarius and all that. Look it up in your chart and just let me you know it's come out and that's Sagittarius' ruling planet. Next is Sample. What's a name? Uh, looks like a last name. Could be a person, place, or thing. It could be the samples at um, BJ's. Is that the store? It's BJ's and it's Sam's Club where you can walk around and they'll give you the little sample. So it could be that. Uh, could be a name. Uh, could be, you know, like the sample makeup and stuff that people used to get back in the days and the little perfume things. However it relates to your situation. Or you might be getting samples of your <clears throat> products that you had to get sent off and tested. And now you're getting your samples and you're getting excited. Not sure how it works in your life. Next is Cruz. That's a name. Last name. Uh, sounds like Hispanic, but it could be any. Person, place, or thing. However it may relate. Past present and or future um yeah next is Lassiter same parameters next is vision board okay so hopefully you have your vision board by now and you are working towards the goals on the vision board or you are starting to see some of the things that you may have put on your vision board months ago is beginning to manifest isn't it exciting right so be advised be aware vision boards are very important it allows you to visually visual, visualize your future, your destiny, and the things that you want to manifest in your life. Also provides you a reminder if you forget. Because when you're doing the vision board, a lot of things are going on creatively in the mind. Then you may forget. But if you put it on your vision board and you look at it daily, it'll jar the memory. Next is a universal shift is happening. Be advised, be aware. I've been telling everyone this for a while. It's going to come out of nowhere. It's happening right now. A lot of people do know that. You can tell by their behavior, who you're seeing more of, who you're seeing less of. There's definitely a universal shift happening. The last will be first. The first will be last. It's a beautiful quote from the Bible. Um, be advised, be aware. Next is take a long bubble bath with Epsom salt. Mm, sounds very relaxing. Okay, so you, you're being advised to get a massage, a regular deep tissue or hot stone, and now take an Epsom salt bath. So you're supposed to be relaxing right now because you have work to do. You'll probably be very, very busy soon. So get your rest now while you're being advised. I mean, still do work, you know, don't just be lazy, but Make sure you're taking care of your health as well. Next is Summer Walker. Girls need love too. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Parental advisory on any and all songs that I put up here. But they are all coming out for a reason. This one she talks about. Why isn't it okay for women to basically fornicate if they want to? You know, just like men do. Um, if you're not in a relationship, something to that effect. Um, I like the song. I won't say I agree with it, but... It is what it is. I'm celibate. Uh, you know, I do have slip-ups. Usually once a year, I get my itch, and then I'm back in my cave. <laughs> but, uh, great song. I like it. Next is, it's, it's a faulty scandal, blown wide open. Okay. So, it's, that's an A right there. You see, that's the eyes with the teardrop in the mouth and the nose. It's a faulty scandal, blown wide open. So be advised, be aware, you've blown a scandal wide open and you probably didn't even know you were doing it, right? But just by being yourself, you detected those that were out there to kill, steal, and destroy. You forced them into the ego death of the dark night of the soul. And now they're st st stuttering, which is probably why you don't see them anymore. And they're probably someone that's very similar to you to cause a confusion purposefully or could be the ones that just were barley walked or demoted secretly because they weren't able to fulfill the contract 
that they had signed up for, which was a faulty one from the beginning against someone that was a really good person or people. You know, it's not just me that these things are happening to. We're all over the world. A lot of us going through the same things. Okay. Next is Bryson Tiller. Sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. He said, you don't get the... I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean nothing to me. And I'm sorry, you're not the one for me. <laughs> you just you just wanted to get what you wanted from me. I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me. Okay. He said, you come for my niggas. They love money. That's crazy. But at least he told you, right? So if you walk in that den knowing you around a bunch of gold diggers, what do you expect, right? Look for something genuine, real, more rewarding. Okay, now stock up on dry foods and keep an emergency bag handy. Yep, I've been advising everyone of this for months and months and months now. I have mine right by the door. It's going to be transitioned to <clears throat> another location very soon, but... Definitely be advised, be aware you want to have, you want to have, um, in cases of food shortages, you want to have water, you want to have dry foods, you want to have things that are going to last, crackers, um, uh, what do I have, noodles, crackers, water, uh, canned soups that can, not the ones that you need a can open for, but the ones you can just pull the top back. Um, candles, batteries, matches, lights, blanket, you know, the little emergency blankets. Anything you can think of that you may need in an emergency situation. Try to get it all put together in a pack and put it by the door. Never know. Next is his or her mother don't like you. Okay, so be advised, be aware. Somebody's mom doesn't like you. Don't know why. Could be what happened when the truth was finally revealed. Or maybe they just don't like you. It happens. Sometimes they want their children with people that they feel can keep them at a certain standard. And if you aren't that person and they don't see the potential in you, they'll do anything in their power to keep their child from you. Or if they see it in you and know that you see them for who they truly are, they'll try to keep their child from you. Because they know that you'll inform them of what they're dealing with. Right? So, you know, double-edged sword, but... You're not marrying a mom, so who cares? You know, as long as her and the child, son or daughter, still has a relationship, nothing bothers me. Next is Seven, the movie. It's a crazy movie, but I like it. It's a good one. It's coming out for some reason. That's about the seven deadly sins, right? Gluttony, wrath, envy, lust. Uh, I always forget the others, but you're aware. Next is, what is your love language? Okay, so be advised, be aware. If you are getting into anything new, these are really important questions that you want to discuss with your mate. It's really strange how a lot of us believe that people automatically know what we want. And we haven't had the conversation, we haven't told anybody, and we assume, assume that all people are the same. So if you want something that's going to last, be able to communicate, you know, especially your love language, because everyone's different. Moving on, the next is, they are, Billy Carson's on, okay, check them out. They are drawn to you because you glow from within, you know what you need to do. Okay, so be advised, be aware. People that are healers or that are light beings, they attract all kind of people. And not necessarily, it's it, not necessarily will it be people that need help. Sometimes it's people that need help energy or a source to drain or a come up right so be advised be aware like it says here you know what you need to do feel the energy you know the intention and move accordingly not gonna give any other details because if you know you know next is Bruce Lee quote mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them Bruce Lee so very true Look at this. Trevor Johnson, boys need love too. Look, after Summer Walker, boy, girls need love. I've never heard this before. He said, baby, can you teach me how? Only you know how to teach me. You got the cell and the bat phone. 
I'm going to pick that thing up and be back home. Anyway. Okay, so be advised, be aware. It's very important to be able to be responsible, right? Be accountable for things that you may be, may have partaked in, good, bad, or indifferent. Especially if you want to be back in someone's life. You definitely want to be accountable and you want to be apologetic. And it needs to be authentic, right? And once you do that, it opens so many doors. And it's not as hard as people think. Right? You can even do it privately with the person that you're trying to mend ways with, you know, unless it's somebody that needs it on a platform or something like that. Then that might not be something. I don't know. I'm not going to speak on it. Just be advised, be aware. If you've made a mistake and you've hurt somebody and you want them back in your life, just do what it takes to get that done. Apologize, be honest about it, and don't do it again. Next is relax, relate, release. Absolutely. The sequence, Bryson Tiller. Relax, relate, release. That's how I feel right now. Took my spiritual shower. Had me. What did I, I actually had a hamburger today. Had a hamburger. And what else? That's it. I've been drinking a lot of water. I had a hamburger and I had water today. And that's it. And I'm still drinking water. Um, Because I've been out all day. I've been stacking things up to give away more i got two more th um storage units i need to go through to get rid of some more things you know when you start giving things away you really think about how much stuff you have that you don't need i had quite a bit but i really didn't have time to look through it because i had been caring for my father and before he passed i was caring for my grandmother and when she was cancer free i went strictly caring for my father so and then, you know, I'm a full-time single parent, so it's not as easy to sit down and get things done like I can now that my son is with his father, and I'm deeply grateful for that, um, and I miss him dearly. I did get to see him yesterday, though. He looks wonderful. His hair is growing, but, you know, every little bit helps. Moving on. So, my Relax, Relate, Release is working wonders for me. I appreciate it. Next is Roddy Rich, The Box. You don't sell your soul. That's the premises of that song. Stand on it. Independence. You know, you know your intellectual property. I don't know if he has or hasn't. He does say it in the song, but he is also in the music industry. So you have to be careful. Because it also said yesterday, or the last day, last time I was on, is um, evil celebrity involvement or something. So, you know, don't believe the celebrities are above harvesting or, or um, stealing sexual energy or... Um, pulling you in to get what they want as well, right? Just because they're a celebrity, they're still a person. Next is, they are aimlessly wandering around, stuck in the matrix. Everyone won't make it. That's why we showed their faces. Okay, so be advised, be aware. So people that you had to leave behind, they're wandering around in the matrix, right? But we had that spirit team had to show you who they were or you would have continued to try to bring them with you. And unfortunately, you wouldn't have progressed, right? It would have kept you in that same energy with them and you would have reaped the same karma that they reaped because you and their energy were intertwined. So everything happens for a reason. So if you see people aimlessly wandering around and people that you used to know aren't doing as good as they used to do, we don't pass judgment. We help if we can, but you know exactly what's going on now. You've been shown. Next is Zodiac Insect Animal, the Scarab Beetle. That's the Libra. Hopefully that's, I don't know, it could be a Libra going through being stuck in the matrix. Possibly. Came out before it. At September the 22nd to October the 22nd. And then the Butterfly from September the 23rd to October 22nd. And it says they're curious and independent and get energy from exploring, playing, and discovering new things. See? They're on an energy search. So be advised, be aware. Libra, or you may be a Libra, or have it in your chart, may have something to do with what is going on in your situation at this time. Next is, they are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Now check that out. Look, first, this card came out. Aimlessly wandering around in the Matrix. Then Libra. Then cuckoo for Cocoa so be advised, be aware. Okay, the Bryson Tiller again. This one says, been that way. I want to know how we became so distant, girl. Tell me how you feel about it. You still love me, that's the way it sounded. Okay, so 
So, somebody's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Be advised, be aware. Like I said, if you see people wandering around aimlessly, even if you knew them at one time, right now they may not be that person anymore. Be cautious and use discernment. Cautious. Next is the movie Jumper. Okay, that's a great movie. Be advised, be aware. You're being nudged to watch that movie. Next is God is the only way. That is true. Whether you consider yourself God or the God in you or the great I am or whoever you serve, as long as it's not the devil. For me, you know, you serve whoever you want. But my circle, we don't serve the devil. We fight the devil. And he's not welcome here. But um, knowing that God is the only way to get you exactly what you want is a great starting point, right? Get down on your knees and pray. Surrender. Like I was saying today, if there's something you're going through and struggling with and you want the answers, ask for them. Genuinely ask God to reveal and he will not he the source will um, in some shape form or fashion maybe in numbers maybe through a person maybe in a letter maybe on a movie maybe some way you just have to be paying attention to get the answer next is lo siento that's sorry in Spanish yep I'm sorry okay so maybe somebody's sorry be advised be aware this energy is very heavy today I don't know you know it's kind of bringing me down a bit i mean i'm cool because i just actually thanks greg thanks lena i love y'all um just got out the shower so when i get out the shower i kind of relax for a minute so i'm good but it's very heavy it's very thick so you know hopefully everyone is doing well and if you aren't doing well you're relaxing and and, and trying to tap into the mental space and ease it in whatever way start here put you some meditation music on in the background get you a nice book and just just stay to yourself for a little while right go ahead and pray and ask for the answers and then start reading or writing or painting or whatever you do and um, it can begin to ease the angst and the pain next is don't eat everyone's food saying no thank you I'm full could save your life yeah, I actually was poisoned at my grandmother's house once. They don't think I know, but I know. Um, not too long ago, a few years ago. And it was so bad that I could barely get up. I couldn't figure out what it was. And it was only me, right? That's how I know it was specific. But, uh, you know, a family member of mine that I would have never believed that would do that. But she did. So just be advised, be aware that you're very careful with accepting people's food and drinks, eating people's food and drinks. You wouldn't believe the low lows that people would go through to put stuff in your food to keep you close to them. So if you can't prepare it yourself, even fast food places, you never know who they know, you know. I don't know. I'd stick with fruits and vegetables right now. Illusions exposed. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so be advised, be aware that you're cautious of what you're eating, who you're eating from, and what is going in it. If you don't see it being prepared or you aren't preparing it yourself, cautious. Next is look both ways before jumping in with both feet. Yeah, so that's basically saying any situation that arises for you, make sure you investigate it fully. You know, you want to not move strictly on emotion. Right? You want to throw some logic in there. You want to see uh, what is actually being brought to the table and, and where is it benefiting you in your life. So be advised, be aware. You don't want to fall in love with the package because the inside could be rotten to the core. Take your time and make sure you're looking always before jumping face first, feet first, heart first, mind and body first into anything. Business, romantic, family, anything. Next is Leandria Johnson. She is a beautiful gospel singer. Her voice is absolutely amazing. I did see her on TV the other day. I'm not sure what it was on. Might have been the BET something. Saw little snippets of it. It was a bit much this year, but um, I did like uh, Mooney Long, Hour and Hour. She is so pretty. Um, yeah, but Leandria Johnson, she has a very strong voice. She reminds me of a younger Fantasia. Nothing's wrong with Fantasia. She's as beautiful as well. I just think she's a little younger than her. Her voice is very strong as well. They're both, uh, I think, church background. But um, 
She's a beast. She's a force to be reckoned with. Next is Joe. If I was your man, okay? So if somebody is telling you they was your man, all the things they would do. All right, baby. Show and prove, right? <laughs> Next is only rely on the unexplained and unseen. Yeah. Well, for me, the person that's spiritual, um, which kind of spiritual, you know, I was having a conversation with the Sagittarius not too long ago. And he was telling me how spirituality and religion are kind of one and the same, right? And the more that you break it down, because religion comes from spirituality and was just taken from it and kind of rebranded as a separate thing, could be true, right? So I identify as spiritual, but, you know, it is what it is. I still reference the Bible. I still talk about God and things of that nature. But anyway, um, for me, the unexplainable and unseen has been guiding my steps and it's gotten me to everywhere I wanted to get. So this makes a lot of sense to me. But some people may see it as not logical, right? And if you're an analytical, logical thinker, you're not going to be the kind of person that would easily think that constantly seeing 111 or 999 or whatever means anything, right? But once you tap into a higher source, higher level, tap into higher self, completely open that third eye you see that those things are signs and symbols and you've been getting them for years you've just been kind of ignoring it because you're so logical which earth signs do have the problem of doing right we're very logical we want stability we want financial stability we want a nice home we want a vehicle we want you know standard income that's just kind of how we were made but you have to push yourself and grow moving on Next is her, every kind of way. Okay, it says, he will yell at a woman, but won't say a word to a man. Ooh. So we got some bitch made. Okay, anyway. So, I don't know. I would call him soft. A guy that would raise his voice and hand to a woman, but wouldn't say a word to a man. Not sexy. Not cute. Not very masculine at all. Uh, be advised, be aware there's somebody like that in your circle around you or that you know, or hopefully not you, but, you know. Next is start a daily journal, okay? So vision board and journal came out, so you guys are not listening. Be advised, be aware. You want to start your daily journals and your vision boards. That way, something that you may forget, you can go back and reference, right? And it could be very important, especially since May the 26th came out. Something on May 26 means something to somebody that's going to hit play. So definitely keeping a journal, even if you just write a couple, today was great. You know, once you start writing, the things that want to come out will automatically spill onto the page. Do it for yourself. Next is start today. <laughs> be advised, be aware. Whatever you're thinking of doing, this is your confirmation. Start today. Get that journal. Next is, they told you the truth. Make sure you are paying close attention. Okay, so somebody told you the truth. And the truth to them may be excluding some of the, excluding some of the facts, which to me is not the truth. I think Nipsey had a post that said something to the effect of, I can't remember, but it was something like, if you think not getting caught when you tell a lie is the same as telling the truth, I can't mess with you right that's what that sounds like to me they told you the truth but were you listening did they tell you all of the truth did they tell you parts of the truth did they tell you you know half truth you know your discernment listen to your gut next is a mother or your mother is very jealous of you watch them closely okay so be advised be aware mother came out earlier about something oh mother doesn't like you that came out and now be advised, be aware that same mother's probably jealous of you and in the wings, but you know, if they'll try it, they know what it is. So I wouldn't put too much uh, mind power on it. I wouldn't even pay it any attention. Just be advised and be aware so you'll know who you need to stay away from. Next is throat chakra. Okay, so that's for self expression and for you to speak up and speak out. If you're having any problems speaking up and speaking out, this one says Bryson Tiller slept on. Just came on. Okay, so maybe you were slept on. 
because your throat chakra might have been blocked. You might have had a little fear in there. You might have, you know, stage fright. I, trust me, I went for an interview for a TV station one time. I knew I had that thing, girl. But as soon as I started to do the interview, my legs started to shake and I couldn't get it to stop. And I didn't know what was going on. It was really weird for me. I'm over that now. But back then, you know, just be advised, be aware. There's meditations for thro throat chakras, five minutes at a time. And practice being your authentic self. Then it won't be so hard to speak. Because the truth rolls off the tongue. Right? Next is Philadelphia 76ers. Okay? One of my favorite teams. My dad used to take me to those games. Bringing up my dad, too. I just want people to know I'm not sleep about his involvement in my life. Right? I know he wasn't the best man. Right? I know he didn't have my best interests at all times. But I do know he was taken from me. And I do know that although he didn't do the right things by me when he was alive at all times, he did before he passed, right? So he tried to right his wrongs. And that's the whole point, especially with what I was speaking about earlier. If someone comes into your life and attempts to... phone just died on me. That's crazy. And attempts to right their wrongs, who are you to tell them no, right? So I know the truth. I know that he had involvement as well as other people, majority, we're going to go into details because I don't need everybody to know what I know. I want y'all to tell me the truth, right? But I know, okay? Next is Neo and Remy Ma, Feel So Good. So that's a song. Be advised, be aware. It's a really good song, too. Is that the one where he say, We all in this room now, putting it down on you. Now you're pushing back at me.